Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next live attack video. Another one on the go, gonna be unedited most likely, so just the raw live attack. Um, this is another CWL war against Elite Gaming. We are in the playoffs already, but these wars are still important for seeding, and we want to go out into the playoffs on a high note. So we have a few weeks left before the, uh, the playoffs begin. And uh, this is a war that we definitely want to win here. Um, my second attack, first one was a successful Falcon. This one we're going to try some hogs on. And we do have a scout. Scout didn't go great. We might take a quick look at it. But um, it showed us that there is a Tesla here. The CC is a baby dragon and like three Valks. And then there's a few small bombs here. Um, the plan is going to be pretty much the same as what the scout did, um, but with extra troops, obviously. I'm going to start off with a wizard here and a um, wizard here and uh, let them get like one or two shots off then drop my golem uh, and then two more wizards, so four total wizards um, to make sure that funnel is created. Then up here, um, golem wizard 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 so uh three total wizards should be able to get away with that i think then we'll just kind of let things develop there um test wall break four more this bomb shouldn't be an issue because it's far enough away but we do know it's there gonna make sure i drop them right here not too far over don't want anything weird to happen with the wall breakers then i'm going to send in um let's get some of this out of the way um send in my uh, eight bowlers, king and queen, jump here. Don't want to open up this compartment um, so everything stays together. Rage and then poison on the CC, of course. Um, I'm using two golems. That way the bowlers should be protected from the Valks and the CC. Don't want that splash damage on them. Then going to go 10 hogs, uh, CC of seven hogs, five. I have I'll have two additional hogs just to deploy where needed. Probably on this wizard tower right here is my guess. Um, but just let them go through. I'm hoping to clear out the core with my kill squad. I'm bringing a pretty big kill squad. Um, the, his kill squad did not actually go into the core. So hopefully there's not a giant bomb in there that might kind of make things not do as well. But I'm um, going to heal here. There is a giant bomb right next to that inferno. Probably going to heal again somewhat awkwardly around this area over the bomb tower point defense hopefully my hogs don't split too badly there could be a little awkward um i could try to reinforce on the archer tower wizard tower that's definitely a possibility i might do that actually um now there could be a tesla out there we just don't know um but i might end up doing let's say CC five and five. That way I can put like maybe CC five and four, CC five, four. That leaves me with, um, actually leaves me with quite a few hogs that I can uh, deploy over here to kind of keep things from splitting awkwardly around this little island of non-defense and then that way the heal can be a little more graceful and then we'll heal third time down there but i'm hoping that everything will kind of go in one distinct motion um and the kill squad will kind of tank for the hogs a little bit and get that good value so let's make sure everything's trained up we'll take a look at the replay real quick of the scout um i have 17 of my own hogs so we'll think about how we want to do this uh, let's go ahead and hop into the base. It's number 11. Um, I think what I will do is I'll drop my CC on the mortar. Um, then we'll go CC, maybe like one more hog, then five and five, which will leave me with six hogs. I can put like four and two or something. That way I don't want the hogs to split once they go to the cannon between these two defenses. I want them to all push this way so they stay in one group. It's easier to heal them that way. Um, wizards for cleanup at that time. But let's take a look at the replay one more time. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing or anything. Just at times for... Could use a few goblins actually. Maybe instead of the archers bring some goblins. Because a wizard can tank that. This actually might be a good idea. A good tricky little technique to get those storages taken out quicker is to um, have the wizards but also a few goblins to help get through so maybe we will 
hop out and add two goblins and we'll keep the one archer just because I like having a longer scroll bar. Um, that was sarcastic, but I feel like I need that archer because sometimes there's like one building left up. Actually, you know what, we'll just use a goblin for cleanup instead of an archer. Get rid of the one scroll bar. And yes, my barracks are boosted as you can see. Um, all right, that's all good there. So we can use two goblins for the funnel, one for cleanup. Um, should have around three wizards left over for cleanup. And yep, looks like everything is good. Got the bowlers, the spells. All right, let's give this one a go here. Number 11. Last time, the first steps are we're going to put a wizard there, wizard there, golem, two more wizards, then golem, three wizards, two goblins, wall break, and then from there we're just we're just going off memory. Muscle memory. Um, let's give it a go. Okay. And we are in the attack. Start off with those wizards I talked about. Okay. Wizard, wizard. Here's our golem. One more wizard. Golem. Test wall breaker. Looking good. Oh, the queen's walking, okay. King's ability. Heal the hogs. Is that queen gonna go down? Oh boy, the queen walked on me and I did not get the defensive queen taken out as a result. Looks like we got some Tesla action. Uh, I wish the scout revealed that, it's unfortunate. Um, the hog pathing is pretty good through the base here. Despite that, if the queen had just gone down, this one might have tripled. Doesn't look like it's going to though. Actually, maybe the queen will leave my hogs alone. Don't have any poisons left, I already poisoned her. Yeah, she just picked off too many hogs. If the queen was in the base, this one I feel would have been a triple. Um, we'll just kind of let the percentage add up here. Um, then we'll look at the replay. Maybe just drop the queen a little too high up um, because she could reach some of the buildings the bowlers couldn't. So maybe should have taken that into account for funneling and stuff. Uh, but the replay should reveal what really happened um, which you guys probably already saw, but I did not in the heat of the moment. So, um, we'll wait for, maybe get that dark elixir storage. Probably not. Yeah. 87% two star. Cool. All right, let's end this. It's been ended. And let's take a look at the replay and talk a little bit about it. Uh, looks like they're doing a 10 v 11 there. <clears throat> okay. So fast forward to the start, drop the wizards uh, a little early just to give the golem a split second of extra health before it died. Um, wizard was perfect, they each targeted one building, couldn't have asked for a better wizard uh, spread there. Then the goblins did good, everything here is pretty solid, a little worried the wall breakers would die but they... <laughs> The bomb was triggered, but the wall breakers did their job. Right here, if the queen was a little lower, the problem is I think she can target this gold storage. Guess we'll see. She should go up for the, yeah. If she was over a little more, she needed to come inside and target that cannon, which she didn't. Um, the rage, I think, is pretty good placement. Went ahead and popped the king's ability. The king just kind of got stuck on, yeah, the CC troops. And I, I mean, the golem ideally would have tanked a little better, but really the queen needs to be in there helping out because if she's in there um you know there is the giant bomb that she kind of helped neutralize initially but um 
Yeah. I don't know. I, if the queen was in there, she would have got the queen, probably with her ability and everything, would have maybe gotten a few of these defenses. And then you can just see the number of hogs the queen picks off as we go through here. I feel like it would have been a triple, but um, you know, we might have to wait for the next attacker and see if they use the same plan. But anyway, that is it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. As always, just trying to get some live attacks out on YouTube. Don't see many uh, from other YouTubers as, as much as we used to. So anyway, CWL, um, I'll back out in case you guys are interested in the war. Still very early on. Um, we're looking solid, have a few 10v10s, both clans. Um, too early to tell, but both looking as you would expect. So you guys will see some coverage maybe of this war later on and um, have a video I'm planning, actually a Patreon video, uh, which will be coming out soon as well. So stay tuned for more on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.